Hi, I'm Antje Jones and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a little wire wrapped basket that you can put around a shell and it's finished with a nice little bead. I've put the tools and materials that I used in the section below. First of all we'll make the collar. Cut enough of the 0.8mm wire to go around the top rim of the shell. Include enough wire to make two loops for the bale. The length depends on the size of your shell. Wrap the wire around the top groove of the shell. Use the round nose pliers to make a loop on each end for the bale. Fit the wire around the shell. Twist the loops at right angles to the wire collar to make the bale. Cut 75 centimetres of the 0.5mm wire. This is quite an easy length to work with. If you want to duplicate your work or for costing, keep a record of the amount of wire that you use. Begin the weaving by attaching the 0.5mm wire to the collar. Attach the wire by twisting it two or three times around the collar. Tighten this with the bent nose pliers. Slide the wire all the way to the bale. Next feed the wire through the middle of the collar like this. Then feed it up through a small loop that you make in the thin wire like this. The first few loops are really fiddly so just be patient with yourself. Let's start making the basket. Bridge the second loop across both sides of the bale. This holds it together. It's easier to make the loops if you fit the collar back onto the shell now. And then continue weaving and making loops. Try and keep the loops a similar size and shape. When you reach the end of the first row, to start the second row, thread the wire through the first loop on the first row. 
like this. Then continue weaving by feeding the wire through the loops of the first row. At some point you'll need to join more wire onto the weaving. I suggest making the join at the back of the piece, it keeps it neater that way. Wind the short end twice around the closest loop in the row above. Like this. Trim off any excess and then cut another length of wire. The length depends on how much weaving you have left. Join the new wire by winding it twice around the loop in the section above. Like this. And then continue weaving until you're happy with the size of the basket. When you're happy with the size of the basket, finish off as before at the back of the pendant. You'll notice the shell falls out of the basket, so we need to secure it in there. We'll add a supportive wiring band and a bead for decoration. So it looks like this. Cut three lengths of the 0.5mm wire, about 7 inches or 17 centimetres in length. Choose a bead with a fairly large hole that fits in the shell's opening. Leaving 2 centimetres or 1 inch free at one end of the wires, twist the three strands together for about 1 centimetre or half an inch. Position the shell with the opening at the front, the balers at the back. Make a pencil mark where the back or the bail is. It'll help keep it aligned. Thread the bead onto the middle strand all the way down to the twisted band. Spread out the three strands along the collar. You're going to attach each of the three ends to the front of the collar. Attach them the same way you joined the wire when you were making the basket. This bit is a bit fiddly, take your time. If it helps, take the basket off the shell.
Trim the wire and repeat the process with the other two ends. Make sure you haven't got any rough ends sticking out of the outside of the basket. Put the shell back securely in the basket, pulling the collar up if you need to, and thread the bead on the middle wire. Firmly hold the wires and place them so that you've got one on each side of the bead. Now twist the three strands into a band that reaches the back part of the collar. To stop the band from slipping down the side of the shell, feed it through the lip of the shell. Twist the three strands into a band that reaches the back part of the collar. Attach the three strands to the collar at the back the same way you did in the front. Trim and tidy the ends. And repeat with the other two strands. And that's it. Add a cord necklace and it's all finished. You have a beautiful shell and silver wire basket pendant. As you can see, the only limit to what you can do with this wire weaving is in your imagination. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, it really helps. And subscribe and ding the bell so that you get notified of future video updates. My name's Angie Jones, thanks for watching.